Let food be thy medicine, a quote attributed to Hippocrates approximately 2,400 years ago, best captures the groundbreaking achievement for which the four distinguished 30th anniversary World Food Prize laureates are being honored in 2016. The development and implementation of biofortification, breeding critical vitamins and minerals into staple crops, thereby dramatically reducing micronutrient and vitamin deficiency, which causes stunting, wasting, and death for millions. For several millennia, the world has struggled with the scourge of malnutrition. Even in the 21st century, the numbers are staggering. Undernutrition affects two billion people globally. The impact is particularly severe among young children. Poor nutrition causes nearly half of the deaths in children under the age of five, taking nearly three million lives a year. And in that same age group, 200 million have vitamin A deficiency and 159 million, one in four of all children in the world, are stunted. It was a commitment to confronting this critical problem that drew our four laureates from their very diverse backgrounds to the common endeavor of eradicating the plague of undernutrition. Born in 1950 in Berkeley, California, following his undergraduate education at Stanford University, Howarth Howdy Buis spent three years in the Philippines with the Volunteers in Asia organization an experience that refocused his career on international humanitarian issues. Returning to Stanford, he enrolled in a graduate program at the Food Research Institute, earning his PhD in 1982. That same year, at the invitation of future World Food Prize laureate Dr. Per Pinstrup Anderson, Buis accepted a position at the International Food Policy Research Institute, known as IFPRI. Inspired by the achievements in reducing micronutrient deficiencies of another World Food Prize laureate, Dr. Nevin Scrimshaw, Buis began the search in the early 1980s for the way to infuse essential vitamins and minerals into the staple crops people eat every day, seeking ways to literally have their food become the medicine that would prevent the devastation of malnutrition. As momentum gathered, Harvest Plus was born in 2003 under Buis' leadership at IFPRI. One of the reasons that Buis was finding some acceptance for his ideas was that in 2000, the World Food Prize had been awarded to Dr. Evangelina Villegas of Mexico, the first female laureate, and her scientific collaborator, Dr. Surinder Vassal of India. They were honored for their breakthrough achievement of breeding protein into maize, thus fortifying corn with an essential health-enhancing element. Suddenly, biofortification seemed possible. Sitting in the audience at a World Food Prize luncheon in New York City, honoring these two millennium laureates was a young African scientist from Uganda. His name was Robert Mawanga. Mawanga, who had just completed his doctorate at North Carolina State University, was now doing postdoctoral research supported by the McKnight Foundation, with emphasis on breeding vitamin A into sweet potatoes. He would soon return to Uganda and eventually become part of the African plant breeding team with Dr. Maria Andrade and Dr. Jan Lowe, under the auspices of the International Potato Research Center, known by its Spanish acronym as SIP. Over the next decade, these three scientists would build the orange-fleshed sweet potato program into the most successful example of micronutrient and vitamin biofortification the world has ever seen. Born in 1954, Mawanga and his nine siblings were raised on a 20-acre farm in the Kamuli district of Uganda. At one point, Mawanga had to live over 100 miles from his home just to get the best possible primary school education. His academic achievement led to scholarships and a college degree from Makere University in Kampala, followed by a graduate degree from the University of the Philippines in Los Baños. Back in his native Uganda, Mawanga succeeded in developing 20 high-yielding vitamin A-enriched sweet potato varieties with their distinctive orange color that resulted from the infusion of beta-carotene. Eventually, over 30% of farmers in Uganda were growing Mawanga's sweet potatoes, and his breeding programs expanded to 10 other sub-Saharan countries. Maria Andrade was born in São Felipe Fogo on the Cape Verde Islands in 1958. 
Even though her parents had little formal schooling, her father was a dock worker and her mother a homemaker caring for her two sisters and seven brothers. Education was an important part of the family culture as this was seen as a means to a secure future. Based on her exceptional performance in high school, Andrade earned a life-changing international scholarship that took her to the University of Arizona where she received her Bachelor and Master's of Science degrees in plant genetics. Returning to Africa, she developed a deep interest in biofortification of crops in 1985 through her work at the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture. It was there that she learned that 70% of children in Mozambique suffered from vitamin A deficiencies. With support from USAID, Andrade earned her PhD in plant breeding and plant physiology from North Carolina State University in 1994. It was while conducting her PhD research that Andrade concluded that the orange-fleshed sweet potato had the potential of providing significant nutritional benefits, especially to malnourished children. Andrade's sweet potato breeding research began in earnest in 1997 in drought-prone areas of sub-Saharan Africa. This led to the release of nine drought-tolerant varieties of orange-fleshed sweet potato that were distributed to farmers in Mozambique in 2001. Andrade next conducted the first large-scale field testing of more than 50 other sweet potato varieties from the U.S., China, Kenya, and Tanzania, from which she was able to identify and develop eight varieties with exceptionally high yields. In building what has been called the calling card for biofortification in Sub-Sahara Africa, Andrade has also partnered effectively with BUIS, Harvest Plus, and the government of Mozambique. She famously was serenaded by the international superstar Bono when showing him the Melinda variety of orange-fleshed sweet potato she had developed in honor of Melinda Gates. Born in 1955 in Denver, Colorado, Jan Lowe attended Pomona College in Claremont, California, where, as part of her coursework, she participated in a study abroad program that enabled her to live with a Kenyan family for two months in Nairobi while taking classes at the university. This was followed by an additional three months in a coastal village conducting independent research on mosquito-borne diseases. After college, she joined the Peace Corps, working for four years in fisheries and aquaculture in Zaire. Returning to the United States, Lowe entered Cornell University. There she was inspired by the chairperson of her doctoral committee, Dr. Dan Sisler, to work on combating vitamin A deficiencies which can lead to blindness. With her PhD in agricultural economics, Lowe joined SIP in 1994 as the center's regional leader for Africa. There she recognized the potential of orange-fleshed sweet potatoes to combat vitamin A deficiency among young children throughout Sub-Saharan Africa. To provide the evidence it could work, in 2005 she conducted a major study among poor African communities, which demonstrated that consumption of orange-fleshed sweet potato led to a 15% decline in vitamin A deficiency in children. Armed with that knowledge, Lowe led a seminal study as part of a Harvest Plus project that focused on how to effectively deliver orange-fleshed sweet potatoes to poor and vulnerable households. While Andrade and Mwanga bred the vitamin A-enriched orange-fleshed sweet potatoes, Lowe structured a nutrition, outreach, and education marketing approach. Building on its plant breeding success, the SIP team, using songs, decorated t-shirts, and attention-getting signs, made orange the color of enhanced health and the orange flesh sweet potato, the healthy food choice. Together they convinced almost two million households in 10 African countries to plant, purchase, and consume this nutritionally biofortified food. Of special significance to this success was a program unveiled on October 15, 2009 in Des Moines, as Bill Gates launched his multi-billion dollar campaign to uplift African agriculture at the Borlaug Dialogue. Included was a $21 million grant to SIP for implementation of a project titled Sweet Potato Action for Security and Health in Africa, or SASHA. The results were so impressive that just seven years later, the three members of the SIP Africa Orange Flesh Sweet Potato team 
would be nominated for the World Food Prize. The Gates Foundation had also provided critical assistance to Harvest Plus programs starting in 2001, joining an array of donors in supporting Buis initiative to enrich staple food crops in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. At the same time, multiple international research institutions became part of Buis's Harvest Plus biofortification endeavor. As a result of Buis's leadership, crops such as iron and zinc fortified beans, rice, wheat, cowpea, and pearl millet, and vitamin A enriched cassava, maize, and sweet potatoes are either being tested or have been commercially released in over 40 countries, including those with acute need, such as Bangladesh, the Democratic Republic of Congo, India, Nigeria, Rwanda, Zambia, and Pakistan. And so, through the combined efforts of our four laureates, over 10 million persons have already been positively impacted by biofortified crops with a potential of several hundred million more having their nutrition and health enhanced in the coming decade, and a goal of reaching one billion people by the year 2030. Thanks to the amazing breakthroughs of our laureates, now in 2016, Hippocrates' aphorism is, at last, finally coming true. Food is becoming the medicine to counter malnutrition, stunting, hidden hunger, and early childhood death around the world. Therefore, in this year as we celebrate the 30th anniversary of both Norman Borlaug's first trip to Africa and his founding of the World Food Prize, it is most fitting that Maria Andrade, Howarth Buis, Jan Lowe, and Robert Mwanga have been chosen as the 2016 World Food Prize laureates.